Hey guys, Avi here and welcome back to the Codex. In this video, we're going to go ahead and continue our Python and Flask series learning about templates in Flask. Let's get started. Now, currently all of our websites are returning plain text, the about page, the blog page, this is the blog post number. However, when you actually create your very own Flask website, guys, you want to go ahead and render HTML content. Again, HTML is a syntax used to create websites, very common, very intuitive, very easy to use. And the best part is it uses something known as tags. So you have the HTML tag, the head tag, the body tag, etc. If you're not familiar with HTML, definitely check out my HTML series. Otherwise, let's continue on. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and redefine the blog page to be made up of its very own blog HTML code. And in this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and just write some rudimentary HTML code, um, starting off with the HTML tag and closing the HTML tag, going on with the head tag and the body tag. So again, some very basic stuff, guys. I'm um, not trying to make it too complicated, but this is going to be our blog page. And then inside of our body tag, I'm going to go ahead and give it a header. Um, welcome to this blog, exclamation mark. And then a paragraph tag, I am Avi, the author of this blog. So again, all I'm doing here, guys, is I'm writing the HTML content that should be rendered by Flask in the slash blog destination. And the reason why I'm doing this is because you're never really going to render just one simple sentence or one simple text. It's always going to be an HTML page. And in this scenario, I'm just hard coding this right over here in the return statement. So go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and run our website. And it says, all right, server already in use. So let me go ahead and close the server and run it again. There we go. And let me go to the blog and we see over here, welcome to this blog. I am Avi, the author of this blog. Fantastic. So what Flask did guys is it read this entire statement and realized it was HTML code and then rendered the HTML code. Now a better way we can do this guys is by using a concept known as templates. Templates are basically the blueprints of HTML code that you can use and render in specific destinations. Now, the way we can set up our very own template is by right clicking on our folder, creating a new Python directory. And I'm going to call this templates. Make sure you do call it templates. That's very important. And inside of this, I'm going to create a new HTML file called blog.html. Now inside of this, I'm going to say blog as my title. And then inside of the body, I'm going to go ahead and copy paste the two lines we had over here. Command C and blog.html command V. Awesome. So what I just did guys is I moved my HTML content from the return statement to the blog.html file. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is remove all this content as we don't need it. And at the very top, you're going to notice I added something from flask import flask comma render template to actually render this HTML file. We need the function render underscore template. So make sure you go ahead and import this from flask. Once you go ahead and do that, we're going to go ahead and say over here, render template and pass pass in blog.html. Fantastic job. Let's go ahead and restart our server and refresh. There we go. Welcome to this blog. I'm Avi, the author of this blog. Now nothing really changed because it's the exact same content, but let's go ahead and change this up a bit. I'm Avi Nash. Go ahead and save and restart the server and now refresh. And there we go. I'm Avi Nash. So now we know that the template is currently being rendered. And I know what you're wondering, what is the point of templates well, Flask has this amazing tool called Jinja. Jinja 2 is the template engine that comes bundled with the Flask framework, and it allows us to input in variables and data into our template. A very quick example before I end this video, guys, let's go ahead and go to server.py. And inside of this, I'm going to go ahead and say blog.html author is equal to Bob. So in this scenario, I'm passing in a variable into the render template function, creating a variable called author and giving it a value Bob. And inside of the blog.html, wherever I want to render this variable, I'm going to use double curly brackets. That is the Jinja syntax. And I'm going to say author. So again, author is a variable that I'm passing in into the render template function, and it will recognize that I'm using author over here and pass in that value. So now if I go ahead and save this and restart our server and refresh, I am Bob, the author of this blog. So that is the power of Jinja guys. Again, the syntax for Jinja is these double curly braces and then placing the variable name inside. We're going to play a lot with this in future videos. I hope you're excited. This was a very brief introduction into templates, how you can set up a template and render it in Flask. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.